never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys, welcome back, welcome back to another video and today um, I just want to say a huge special shout out to everybody who's been supporting the channel You guys have been helping out so freaking much You guys showed a lot of love on the F10 and on the E82 So we're going to be doing a whole bunch of mods for the 135 and the 535 Mainly because you guys want to see both of those on the channel And as for the 435, this is my current daily slash show card slash everything This car going to be taken everywhere with me You guys will be seeing this hopefully at Beamer Fest Hopefully if they still have it this year And I'm not going to stop on this car I still need a couple more carbon fiber bits And then in terms for the engine, I do want to upgrade the turbos But just not right now, I do plan on doing it soon though So don't worry about that And I actually am looking into some new wheels for the 435 So don't worry, 435 content is still coming out for those of you guys who want, who want to see 435 content But as for now we are focusing on the 135 and the 535 on the channel and in today's video we're focusing on the 135 before we get into that is if you guys want to cop anything from the store link down below to support your man that would mean the world but yeah anywho let's get that 135 over here and let's get straight into the main so there it is now and here it is now so let's go ahead and pop the trunk real quick and do the first order of business that i've been trying to do for some time now so normally on the e90s the batteries over here but on this car the battery's actually somewhere down here so let's go ahead and just pop this sucker up i think you might have to remove this whole trunk carpet but anywho, battery's right there. We're gonna have to get that battery out. It is completely toast. Anywho, guys, let's put in full time lapse. Get this battery out. Take it down to Costco. Get a new one. And all the computers in this car should be functioning A1 once this battery's been replaced. All right, guys, now that we got the battery out, we're gonna go ahead and just lock the trunk. So when we close the trunk, it won't actually shut on us. We're gonna have a problem getting into the trunk just so nobody out here, you know, comes and steals our shit. So we're gonna at least make it look like the trunk is actually closed. So how to do that, you just go ahead and do that. Now it's locked. Go ahead and close the trunk, just like that, you see? Perfect. Battery in the trunk, let's head out. All right, guys, we're here at Costco. Let's go ahead and get that new battery. All right, guys, new battery. Let's head home. So we are almost home with the new battery. I'm pretty stoked because uh, I am spending so much money this month with the new cars and registering both cars and maintenance on all those cars. It's a lot of money, but I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I'm trying to have this all as jam-packed as possible. I'm trying to get so much things in one video. So obviously this video is not gonna just be one day. It's not gonna just be me replacing a battery. But I don't wanna spoil the rest of the video. So uh, let's just get home, replace the battery, and you guys are about to see what we're about to do next. All right guys, we are officially back home and we have the Carly adapter. So we're gonna go ahead and code in this new battery, but it already had an H6 in the car, but I don't know if that H6 was coded. So you went ahead, got a brand new battery. This has about two or three, I think three year warranty to be honest. So it's be set. So if this goes, bad you guys might be asking it's not a big battery this might die out early well it has a three-year warranty so that is more than enough and the car you'd have to code it in just to be safe so without further ado let's go ahead and uh treat this baby right I got the 135's got a new battery, which means it's fully turbocharged. No, actually, that's not what it means. But that means that now it should start up every time and we should be able to code the car and do some coding, especially when we start flashing the car and do some tunes and some GB4s and MHD. It's not gonna cut out. It might kill our ECU or anything like that. So now we can actually put the car in accessory mode and plug in Carly and code the car. So I'm actually gonna code in some of the cool features and I'm also gonna code in the battery. It's a BMW 1 Series. 2010 E82 coupe register same battery. Let's go ahead and read out this battery because it is an H6. The one that was previously in here was an H6. So 12.1 uh, volts. Yep, brand new battery. Uh, yep, this is the exact one. Register same battery. So registration has been successful. That's it. So you only have to click register new type of battery if you're upgrading to an H7 and H8, vice versa, or doing a bunch of stuff. Just in case it hasn't been coded, let's go ahead and just read it out just in case this was reading as an H7 or H8 and maybe that's why you drained it. So let's go ahead and do that. This is an 80 milliamp and since that is the one that was originally, we don't have to do any coding. So gonna go back and that's it. While we're in here, let's just go ahead and do some coding. I love being able to roll up the windows and roll down the windows and have the mirrors fold in and out. So let's go ahead and get that coded. All right guys, I'm just gonna go down this list and just start coding in a couple options. I have so many videos on how to do Carly stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just code in everything I want. I went ahead and coded everything. Let's just go ahead, put this cap back on, throw this in the glove box, start up the car. Whoa, now that was a very solid start. Does need some windshield washer fluids, which I guess we'll throw in right now, why not? And other than that, car looks like to be good. Has a service engine light, obviously. We're still waiting on that part to come in, which we're actually gonna be fixing in this video, just waiting for that part to come in. So this video is gonna be running on a couple days. Let's go ahead and turn off the car. 
And all right guys, so this is where all the new coating comes in. So basically when I go ahead and lock the doors and hold the lock button, the windows should come up and that mirror should fold. That's what I went ahead and coated in. So, yep, mirrors are folding, windows are going up, sunroof should be closing, that's six. So even if I unlock the door, that's when I know my, my car is unlocked from a distance. If I just look at my car, my, my remote won't reach it. I just look at my mirrors. As long as they're folded in like that, I know my car is locked. So that's what I love about that feature and actually looks super sick. It needs a new EVAP system and it needs a new AC condenser. Those parts are coming in and it's all gonna get done in this video. So let's. Go ahead and wait for those things. So I'll see you guys in approximately two to three days. Peace out. And a couple days later, guys, I'm back. So we do have the new PCV system that I told you guys are gonna be getting. We also have a new condenser that we actually just got in. The 135 is chilling right here. It looks so good. I cannot wait for that car to push some crazy power. I did bring in the car here a couple hours ago, just hoping everything will cool down. We're sitting outside all night, and uh, yeah, it's super hot out today. So we're gonna go ahead and just take off all this cowl stuff. I'm gonna be getting some burger tuning cow filters. I'll make this job on my absolute last time that I'll ever have to do this. So we're gonna remove all this cowl stuff, and then hopefully the PCV. PCV shouldn't be too hard to remove, so uh, just get right into it. Hopefully, we'll clear the lights, PCV issue won't come back, and this car will pass smog. Hopefully, that's the problem, guys. That would be absolutely insane. All right, guys, I, I found the PCV vent valve. It's that hose right there going up, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that guy. So you guys, we just finished installing the ventilation valve. Let's just go ahead and start up the car, let it run for a little bit. Oh, I could probably put that in the trunk of the 135 as well. That is the AC condenser. Head out real quick, so close the lights. We gotta run, we gotta run. Will we make it? Oh, yes, we made it. All right, let's head down. Uh, let's just head to go find some shade real quick and then clear the codes. And then we can go ahead and take this thing to smog. Hopefully it's ready. Guys, this thing, the turbos pull so hard when you're barely on the gas. This thing has so much power. Stop. All right, guys, I'm just leaving this smog station. They said that three of my systems are not ready, so uh, that kind of sucks. But uh, obviously, the car, I just cleared all the codes, so I'm gonna go hit the highway, hit another smog that's about 15 minutes from here, uh, and see if any of my systems get ready when I go down there. And if not, then uh, I'm gonna come back over here and stop by this smog stop one more time and ask them to check my systems and just see if I can get any luck through all this driving. Guys, I just passed the parking lot while my E36, my first ever E36 convertible, I had a 328 E36 convertible is my second BMW ever. I don't think a lot of you guys have seen that. I think I was like 10k subscribers when I had it. And the axle blew out while I was driving. I got towed next to that store right there. So that's kind of crazy that I found the same exact Walgreens. All right guys, second smog location. Hope to God this works. Unfortunately, the car is not ready. So we're gonna go ahead and go home real quick and uh, you know, hopefully this car will be ready by tomorrow. I'm about to go to the Costco gas station because this thing needs some gas and uh, I'm feeling we have to drive it a lot longer to get this thing to actually pass smog. So I'm probably gonna have to put on a charge pipe on this thing, a stock one, and I'm probably, and I need to keep driving it, but I do think we fixed the issue. So hopefully this car, hopefully we pass smog, get it registered, and then we could pretty much make it whatever way we want it, whether that's California okay or not. About to get some gas. See you guys in day three. All right, guys, day three. Oh my God, black leather interior without AC suck. All right, let's go ahead and take it out to another smog place and see if the system's already off. And guys, this is kind of awkward. It's that moment in the vlog where I completely lose track of where I was. I'm happy to say, Bob, well, you guys probably see, I'm, 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 I had to celebrate. The 135 officially passed smog. So unfortunately, Jonathan was not able to get his smog because he didn't know what was wrong with the EVAP system. I got super lucky, ordered the exact right part, replaced it, all systems are ready, and now it officially passed smog. So that means the car can be officially registered in California. And I figured, you know what, I might as well chow down. I got some um, I got some Mexican food, but I'm not really sure where it's from. I, I, it's like a papa shop. Anywho, I'm gonna go chow down. Day four, guys. It is the fourth day to this car. And the reason I've actually, I think it's been like three to four days. The reason I'm doing this all in one video because I don't want to keep dragging on registration and smog and all this stuff in a couple videos. I want to show you guys that it's completely possible. All one video. I don't want to stretch out these videos any more than I need to. I want to just constantly bring you guys the best content possible. I'm pretty much getting this thing to be a Texas car to a California car. All one video for you guys. So pray for me. I can actually make that happen for y'all. Because if I can do that, that means this car is going to be absolutely insane. Let me go ahead down to a Papa DMV and uh, see if we can get this thing registered. I have smog. I have the out of state pink slip. Let's hope for the best here. And just like that, guys, car is registered. So that is pretty dope. Also, guys, I'm wearing this shirt, Natty. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll show you guys that when we get to the shop. I'm very happy. Finally got the car registered, which means this car is officially California legal. 
have all the documents to prove it. I'm gonna finally put the plates on when we try to get down to the shop. And uh, you know, that means the car is pretty much ready to go. We just need some AC. So it's hopefully, we gotta roll up these windows. I have no AC in this car, it's really hot. Hopefully we'll get home. Hopefully we'll get to the shop. We'll have Erlon help us install the AC condenser and hopefully we'll have some AC heading home tonight because that would be the ultimate dream. And uh, we'll start getting some mods in for this guy as well. We have so many things for the F10. So if you guys are excited for all this, make sure you smash the like button. I do want to make the F10 like the ultimate, the ultimate luxury BMW but at the same time have a lot of performance so I'm not gonna go too crazy on that but I do have an idea I'm thinking about wrapping this 135 and the 535 to the color copper to match all three of my cars I think that'd be super sick for videos super sick for photos it's gonna look like a trio of a 535 435 and 135 so you guys let me know what you guys think about that guys the dream car check that out oh my god oh my god do you guys hear that car My absolute dream car, guys. One day, I'm telling you guys, please. <laughs> What's up, guys? Damn. So a couple subscribers are here, guys. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Like, I'm in a 135 and I just put on the California plates. How did he know that was me? He must have saw the R8 and he must have saw Noor in a 135. He's like, that has to be Noor. R8, 135, he just got one. Shout out to them, that was super cool. Like, God bless, God bless. I had a great time right there. Anyway, I'll see you guys when we get to the shop and I'll explain to you guys what's going on with the 135. I'm actually about to get started on the next video here. If you guys wanna see what I'm about to do to this next, make sure to smash that like button because this might be also another one to three day video. So if you guys really want me to pack this all in one video and get it out tomorrow, make sure you guys get this video to 3,000 likes. I will get the next part of this video out tomorrow. But without further ado guys, I'm so happy. The 135 is registered in California, plates, tags, and everything. If you guys wanna cop some merch to support your boy, some air freshener, caps coming soon, and and some key tags. Check out that link down below. Currently up on the store right now, I have these mystery crates. And those mystery crates are for the F10. For the 135, I'm actually doing another thing that's also special if you guys want to contribute to 135, but it's not just yet. For the F10, if you guys want to contribute to the F10, check out the mystery crate down below. I think it's a pretty good value. You get five things from the store that could be valued from 50 to 60 to even $70 inside this $30 crate. So if you guys want to have some fun, pick up the crate, see what you get. Make sure to check out that link down below. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember, to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.